Introduction Hello everyone, in this video, we will be exploring the concept of a non-inverting amplifier. A non-inverting amplifier is a fundamental circuit used in electronics to amplify signals without changing their polarity. It is widely used in various applications such as audio amplification, sensor interfacing, and signal conditioning. Today, we will be demonstrating a non-inverting amplifier using a simulator circuit to help you understand its working principles. Explanation of the circuit Let's take a look at the circuit we will be simulating. A non-inverting amplifier consists of an operational amplifier, op-amp, two resistors, and an input signal source. The op-amp is the heart of the circuit, and it provides high gain and excellent linearity. The resistors are connected in a specific configuration to determine the amplification factor and input-output relationship. Here is a quick overview of the connections in the non-inverting amplifier circuit. The input signal is connected to the non-inverting terminal of the op-amp, usually marked with a plus sign. The inverting terminal, marked with a minus sign, is connected to the ground or a virtual ground. The output of the op-amp is taken from the junction of a resistor connected to the inverting terminal and a feedback resistor. Working Principle The non-inverting amplifier circuit works based on the principle of negative feedback. When an input signal is applied to the non-inverting terminal, the op-amp tries to balance the potential difference between its two inputs. As a result, it adjusts the output voltage to minimize this difference and maintain equilibrium. The gain of the non-inverting amplifier is determined by the ratio of the feedback resistor, RF, to the input resistor, R1. The formula for calculating the gain is simply 1 plus RF by R1, which means the output voltage is proportional to the input voltage but amplified by a factor of 1 plus RF by R1. This amplification occurs without altering the polarity of the input signal. Now, let's dive into the simulator and observe the behavior of a non-inverting amplifier in action. In the simulation, we will apply a 5-volt AC input signal with a frequency of 50 Hz and observe the amplified output. Here, we have the simulator circuit of the non-inverting amplifier. We have connected an input voltage source, VIN, with a 5-volt amplitude and a frequency of 50 Hz to the non-inverting terminal of the op-amp. The feedback resistor, RF, is connected between the output and the inverting terminal, and the input resistor, R1, is connected between the non-inverting terminal and the input source. In this case, we have used a 1 kilohm input resistor and a 2 kilohm feedback resistor. As you can see on the simulator screen, we have set the input voltage to 5 volts AC at a frequency of 50 Hz. The input resistor is 1 kilohm, and the feedback resistor is 2 kilohms. As you can see on the simulator screen, the output voltage is now approximately 15 volts. The non-inverting amplifier has amplified the 5 volt input signal to 15 volts without changing its polarity. The output voltage is proportional to the input voltage but amplified by a factor of 3, as determined by the gain of the non-inverting amplifier circuit. By adjusting the values of the resistors, we can vary the gain of the non-inverting amplifier. Increasing the value of the feedback resistor relative to the input resistor will increase the gain, while decreasing the value will reduce the gain. This allows us to tailor the amplification according to our specific needs. Conclusion That concludes our simulation and explanation of the non-inverting amplifier circuit. We have seen how this circuit amplifies signals without changing their polarity and how the gain can be adjusted by varying the resistor values. Non-inverting amplifiers are crucial building blocks in electronic circuits, and they find wide applications in various fields. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and gained a better understanding of non-inverting amplifiers. If you have any questions or would like to explore more about this topic, please feel free to leave a comment below. Stay curious and keep exploring the fascinating world of electronics. See you in the next video.